Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matty. I wanted to come on here and um, I wanted to speak about this and clarify uh, the mishaps of all of this awful, awful um, calendar issue. This, this, and it doesn't have to be, and you'll understand how easy this is. Um, a, 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 an elementary, uh, an elementary child could understand this if taught the right way, and I'm not even kidding. But you know what? There is a reason why Yeshua he spoke to people in parables, and he says he said to his disciples, to you guys, to my twelve, to my twelve disciples. I have laid out the foundations of the kingdom of heaven. But for these guys, these they're more like babes. You, you have to you have to slowly feed you they, they have to slowly digest, right? They have to slowly eat their food, chew it up real good, right? Um and so he says to them I speak to them in parables. So it kind of reminds me nowadays of whenever you would see that ball, that red ball that would go from word to word, and it would be most likely in a song or something like that, and you would read the word, you know, as the ball would hit the word, you know. You would either read it or you would sing it one. And um, it's very similar. Uh, it's very, very similar of how people understand Scripture nowadays. They don't understand it in this context. Um, they run to and fro to men instead of leaning on the Holy Spirit, or, or not just the whole the Rock of but the the, the the very simple words in which Yahushua, uh, which uh, Yahweh stated from the very beginning. And what does he say in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14? He says, And Yahweh said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day, to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Let me say that again. And, and Yahweh said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. Okay? An elementary child would understand this. Hey, guess what? This is talking about the sun and the moon, right? It's talking about the sun and the moon, all right? <clears throat> and let them be for signs, sign signals. Whenever you're on a road, right, and you see a sign, what's it telling you? It's either telling you to stop or slow down or it, it, it'll, it, or which exit to take or you, you, you understand what signs are there for to tell you what path you're on or what time what, what where to go right these were are what first signs are for right so he says he's going to use the sun and the moon as signs as pinpoint signs and for seasons now for seasons in this aspect it's not speaking about something that you would understand in a western mindset okay um this is a middle eastern book okay that we just happen to read it in English, okay? Even the, some many of the meanings are not understood in the perception of a Western uh, mindset, okay? So, what this is talking about is not the this. Um, this is not talking about spring, summer, uh, winter. I mean, uh, fall and winter. Is is speaking about the Mo, what's called the Moedim, and and they are the the feast of there, there were seven feasts, and um, they were known as the high holy days. Okay, the the the, the days of all, right? A W E, and um, we happen to be coming upon atonement. Actually, it's it's midnight now. Uh, so to today and tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Um. And it said, okay, so they are for signs and for seasons, thus the Moedim, okay? And you, and later on, this, this, this explains itself in Numbers, um, Numbers chapter 10, verse 8 through 10, uh, and then, and then what you get from, uh, Numbers, uh, 10, 8 through 10, you can later on, um, 
continuous study in Ezekiel chapter 44 verse 15. But I'm not really going to get heavy into that right now. What I am going to get is just something very, very simple. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2014, there were four consecutive tetrads, okay? Tetrad of blood moons, okay? Blood, uh, blood uh, or a full uh, lunar eclipse, okay? You have, you have lunar and you have solar. Lunar doing, dealing with the moon and solar dealing with the sun, okay? <clears throat> During the year of 2014... April the 15th, there was a sign, there was a marker. Remember, like I was saying on the roads, there was a sign that was leading you to what's going on, right? Where you're at, where you need to go, right? What, what you need to know, what you need to understand, you know what I'm saying? And, um, so... That was one, and, the, and there was literally a blood red moon on the day that Passover was being celebrated in Yisrael, in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, as well as the states, as well as the United States, and, and anyone who celebrates Passover, right? So, there was a blood red moon on that very day. Um... On Sukkot, October the 8th of 2014, there was another blood red moon. On the very day that they're celebrating tabernacles. Next there, on Nisan 1, Adar 29, there was a solar eclipse. March the 20th of 2015. Then, there was another blood red moon. On April the 4th of 2015. And then another one on 928 of 2015. Okay? And which was Sukkot. Which was another Tabernacles. Okay? <clears throat> now, get me on this. Israel was celebrating the Moed, the Moedim. And guess what Yahweh did? He was pinpointing, as he said he would from the very beginning, right? What did we read? And let them be for signs and for seasons, the sun and the moon. So, while Passover was going on in Israel and within the states and, every, and, and, and everywhere, right? There was a marker in the moon, there was a signal in the moon during Passover, during the seasons, the Moed, right? So, don't you think that Yahweh would have understood the confusion that everybody would have had with the, uh, with the calendars, all this kind of stuff, right? So he's like, okay, they're men, they think carnally. Then... I'm going to have to be right in front of their face to let them know what time it is, right? So I'm going to put a blood red moon, and I'm going to put a solar eclipse and partial solar eclipse and, and into, into the sky. And also there was, there was a, 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 a partial solar eclipse, I believe, uh, which was on the Feast of Trumpets, 9 to, 20, 9 to 23rd. Uh, and this was also a marker, and this was also a solar eclipse too, a solar eclipse. And, um, so on the very days himself, guys, on the very days that Israel is, is celebrating these Moedim, these Moed, right? And, and so were the states. You guys were, you, you guys were, uh, celebrating Passover as well. And also looking up into the skies and also understanding that these four tetrad blood red moons were signs and signals on the Moed, the seasons, right? The signs and the seasons, right? So he was pointing to, guess what? They got it right. And I'm honoring this. 
I'm, but you know, I know this had to do, uh, this has to do with the end times, but he's also declaring, he's also declaring, um, he's also declaring, uh, in the heavens, what time it is. It is the Moed, it is the Moed. And he's declaring it just like he said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. So all the rocket science that everybody was trying to come up with and the overcome a calendar and, and all this garbage and stuff, guys, it's nonsense. You don't have to do this anymore. You don't have to be disrespectful during the Moed. None of uh, many of you guys that were not celebrating Rosh Hashanah whenever Israel was. And guess what? Guess what? He, he told us in 2014. He told us in 2015. He told us what time it was. And, and, and guess what? These signs just seem to happen. Just happen to happen on the days that just be, that just happen to be, um, celebrating Passover and Tabernacles. Okay. So, <clears throat> I, I could get I could get into some other things about the um, the um, uh, the sons of Aaron and the sons of, Z of Zadok. I could get into um, uh, the Enochian calendar and and just and the Babylonian calendar and and how many times it's been changed, blah blah blah, and all that, right? Yahweh knew and understood that all this confusion would happen. He knew it. So he's like, if my people would just read my word, start from the beginning. If they would read the beginning and they would understand that I'm that I put signs in the sun and the 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 sun and the moon and the stars, especially during this time was the sun and the moon. And I'm letting you guys know that these are four signs on my Moedim. Signs and seasons. Right? <clears throat> so, it's that simple. He declared in the heavens. He put forth from the very beginning what time it was and is and guess what today my friends is atonement and tomorrow wednesday is atonement as well yep i'm doing this i'm doing this video after midnight and so it is now tuesday especially in the united states and i believe that hashem yahuwah lets the entire world experience these high holy days okay so, um, so it, because, you know, there's Jews in America too, right? <laughs> I just happen, I just happen to believe, be uh, a believer in the, in the Mashiach. I believe that Yahushua, Yeshua is the Messiah. He is the Messiah. There's no guessing point with this for me. I understand this to be fact, okay? I understand this to be a knowing not a guessing or a perceive or, or a perception in that. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, he puts in the 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 heavens what time it was. Guess what? Yisrael, anytime, anytime that you guys are seeing Yisrael celebrate the the feast days, guess what? Yahweh is honoring that so much that he put signs in the in, in the sun and the moon to honor this and he did it within 2014 and he did it within 2015 he he showed you what time it was and that means that anytime they're celebrating these feast days guys you need to be especially during the fall feast this is your time to look up my friend and when they're celebrating the feast of trumpets you should be trembling when it's atonement and tabernacles, you should be trembling, trembling, trembling within teshuva and repentance. Yeah, and also in understanding that your Messiah is coming. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, it was that easy. It's that easy.
Shalom and Maranatha Lahitrio. See you next time.